Hi, my name is Bill, and today I want to be showing you how to replace the door handle screw on your oven. The reason why you might have to do this is because the screw is lost or damaged, or because the handle is loose and you can't get it to tighten. For this repair, we'll be using a 516 nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. For this repair, we'll be using a Whirlpool stove. Keep in mind, ours might be a little bit different than what you've got at home but the same technique should still apply. So as you can see here, we've got a loose handle. In order to fix it, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all these screws. We've got two screws on each side and two screws on top. And as we remove this last screw, just make sure you've got your leg up on the glass so that it doesn't fall out because as you remove this last screw, that's what's holding everything together right now. And we don't want everything to fall apart. So, there we go. So now I'm holding the door here. I'm holding onto the glass in front so that when I take off the top, the glass doesn't fall out. And I'll give it a little bit of slack so you can see. I'll let go carefully, but this glass is being held on by the two sides and then the top there. With that no longer on there, it's not held on. So if you want, you can take it out and set it off to the side so you don't accidentally drop it and break it. So now I have the trim turned around and you can see up here, it looks like we've got a bad screw. This is the side that's loose. Okay, so we can try and screw it in to see if it works. And you can see it's not working. So we're gonna get this screw out. And we'll replace it with a new one. So now you can grab your new OEM replacement screw. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now we'll just make sure that the handle hole is lined up here and we'll screw it in. Okay. And I'll turn it around and we'll try it out. And the handle is nice and tight on here now so we can put it all back together. So now we're ready to put the glass back in. I want to slide it down into the bottom area first here. And now I'll line up both sides. So those are lined up. And now I can put this handle assembly back on top. And all I'm doing is sliding that in. And then the lip will go in front of the glass there. And once you've got everything lined up, you can start screwing everything back in. Once you've got those screws tightened on, you can close the door up, check on your handle and make sure it's nice and tight, then your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.